Another recovery today out in Angels Camp, California. We're about two hours, two hour drive each way. And uh, I got my buddy here again, man. You guys have been seeing a lot of this Jeep. He just got some new 40s on this thing, but he chooses to remain anonymous or I would be tagging him. First stop, like always, whenever we get a call for a recovery, the very first place we gotta go is the gas station. It is a daily thing. Sign said, rough road, drive at your own risk. It's just, it is a legitimate road on GPS, just not county maintained. <laughs> we get out into some crazy places sometimes. Well, we ended up back on a paved road. I guess uh, maps probably just took us some back way. We're out here in the country. People with lots of land, property, ranches, good old blue collar people. You know, a lot of people aren't from California and they think California is like San Francisco, Bay Area, Los Angeles, but truth of the matter is most of the state is like this. tow hook right there is damaged huh yeah that's been like that has it okay. bought like that i didn't do that but this is just kind of you know just it's not going anywhere yeah yeah because if you could see you could see that the stump is pressed on my yeah that's part, which, that's what's holding it up right now too much i just don't want to get into my cavern because it was you can see here it was pressing up against here oh a man little bit, but it's like and then I, I i left that on there because i don't know if that's going to help out or not to keep it from yeah i mean here. But no, and my tires are bald. <laughs> That's the worst part about the whole fucking thing. I don't know if it made it. Well, this is so soft, man. I don't think this is such a heavy truck. I don't yeah, probably wouldn't have made much a of a difference. Well, we got to jump this thing real quick. The power boxes weren't enough to get it going, get them started. But see if we can get it with the jump starter. It's about to start raining on us. Let me get this thing out of here. All right, we're getting it rigged up. Got a snatch block going down here. I'm about to run my snatch block out as well. I run my line out, snatch it off of that. We are anchored up in the back. However, I don't necessarily like this because that anchor strap is at the top of the tree, which I always try and pull from the bottom of the tree. Unfortunately, this is all poison oak. So I'm not trying to go digging down. And although it is just now coming out of being dormant, this stuff, even just the stems have oil, it can still get you. So all my gear right now is gonna be covered in poison oak. Have to wash it off, hopefully I don't get it. I've had it too many times to count, but if you didn't know what poison oak looked like, that's that's what it is. But we got it running, got it jump started, getting it set up. A couple more minutes, we'll make our first pull. All right, put it in drive, is it in four low? Put four low. Yeah, four low, and uh, crank that wheel as much as you can to the to the passenger side once we start winching, and then don't give it a lot of gas, just a tiny, tiny little bit. All right, you got it in four low. Yes. All right, go ahead, and uh, we're gonna start winching, just nice and slow. See if we can get that front end to shift around. Here we go. your lines off we gotta re-put it back on so i was worried about my line popping off the hook right there um, but because that other tow hook is like completely mangled all right ready all right hang all right, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got that thing in neutral or in drive or it looks like the brakes are just locked up on it. All right, if it's in drive, then uh, let us just continue to winch it and then uh, just be ready to hit the brakes. Put it in drive? Yeah, keep it in drive. 
All right, ready? All right, hang tight, hang tight. Let's reposition. Yeah, we got to reposition it. All right, we made it out. All right, well, the first pull on the winch worked and it gave him enough to get back on, get back up on it, and then he was able to drive out himself. But yeah, really not too bad, didn't. It was fairly, fairly easy recovery. Got it out, buddy. <laughs> Another successful recovery in the books. But uh, yeah, get back on the road, get this thing, get this Jeep back home. And before you guys start commenting about the trash and the junk piles, he recently bought that property, 40 acres, and he got a big discount on it because he took it with all the crap in it. Uh, they, they offered to remove all the junk from the previous tenants, and he said, no, just leave it, give me a discount. And then he said he kind of regrets that decision because it's, it's kind of difficult getting rid of all that stuff. But he is down there cleaning it up, trying to haul stuff out. That's why that dump trailer was there. Biggest smile on his face when he came out, you know.